Hey, this is Jessica from Mama in a Stitch, and today I want to show you how to do a really easy mesh stitch. Um, this is the stitch I used in my most recent blanket sweater pattern, and it makes a really nice texture and it's super easy. So, let's get started. We're first going to chain an odd number of stitches. So you want to start out by doing your slip knot. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, we'll do 11. Okay, and I'm just going to do the first row um, is going to be single crochet because I like to have just a nice edge. Two, three, so we're just single crocheting across. Okay, so we have 10 stitches across, and now we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. We're going to start our mesh now. And what we want to do is skip this very first stitch right here and go into the next stitch and simply do a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, skip this next stitch and slip stitch into the following one. Just like that. And then chain three. One, two, three. Skip a stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch. And we just repeat this across the row that stitch and go into the very last stitch. Slip. Okay, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn. Okay. So now, instead of skipping that stitch, like we did last time because we had a row of single crochets, you just work right into the chain three and you slip stitch. We do the same thing, chain three, one, two, three, go into your next chain three and slip stitch. One, two, three, into that next chain three, slip stitch. One, two, three, slip stitch. One, two, three. Slip stitch there. One, two, three. And turn. And you just repeat. You're going to work into each chain three. And you repeat that for the rest of the pattern. That gives you a really easy and beautiful little crochet mesh stitch. So thanks so much. Bye. I've worked mesh in two variations. One um, uses three chains for each little uh, piece of mesh, and this one uses two chains. The one with three will need blocked because it will not lay flat. It will tend to pucker with the stitch count that we started at. Um, you get a really nice big open looking mesh, but it does pucker, so you do need to block it. This one, um, with the two stitches, works out, and so it will lay flat when you crochet it. Just doesn't quite have uh, the 
open look, um, but still is still is a nice mesh. So what you will do is uh, make a chain with an odd stitch count. You'll single crochet across, and then you will chain two and turn, and skip a stitch, and slip stitch into the next stitch, and you repeat that across the row, and then chain two and turn. And I've already been doing this pattern for a while here, so I will show you how to continue it. I, I chain two, I slip stitched into this first group of chain twos, and now I'm going to chain two again, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, sorry, two, and slip stitch into that last group, chain two, and turn. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Slip stitch into that first group of two, chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, it. Nice little swatch of mesh and super easy. Um, I love how it looks. I did the, this mesh for my market tote, uh, my Manhattan market tote on my blog, but you could use it for so many different things. Scarves, baby blankets, the possibilities are endless. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye!